tonight's episode of Late Night Baking. Now before we begin, I want you to know I've been reading all of the angry emails and I finally decided to address the problem. I bought a microphone. Now I'm still working on the sound, but you can all stop twisting my arm about the audio. Hey, speaking of twist, let's make some pretzels. But not just any pretzels, Philly soft pretzels. To start, you will want one packet of yeast. And yes, you're seeing it correctly, folks. Dry packet yeast is back on the shelves. Nature is healing. For one packet of yeast in the bowl, one cup of warm water, and a teaspoon of sugar. And whisk it all together. Let it sit for about 10 minutes while the yeast activates. You'll know it's ready when you see that it's risen like this. See, it has that nice, even rise to it. Now take your activated yeast and put it in your main bowl. Oh, that smells heavenly. Then add three cups of bread flour. Two, and three. Remember, this is bread flour, not self-rising flour, not all-purpose bleached flour, not cake flour, not bread flour, bread flour. As well as a teaspoon and a half of brown sugar. Teaspoon of salt, give or take, and a tablespoon of softened butter. As we've discussed here on Late Night Baking, I'm too cheap to buy a KitchenAid mixer, so what you want to do is just dig on in. You'll want to knead the dough for about 10 minutes or so. If it seems a little dry, go ahead and wet your hands and get back into it. Now, I'm not as twisted as these pretzels are going to be, so I'm not gonna force you to watch the entire 10 minute duration. So uh, can, can, we get a, can we get a dissolve or a, or a fade? <laughs> You'd think I'd have more muscle mass on my arms after doing this, but. Now that your dough is nice and kneaded, at least one of us is, we're gonna get our baking tray, line it with wax, and split our dough into eight even pieces. Roll them up into nice little balls of dough. Extra word. Then cover them with a towel for about half an hour. I'm gonna go ice my arms. Now we're gonna make pretzels into pretzels. Take a dough ball and start rolling it into a long, thin, not tube, roll it. Let's move this out of the way. Once it's rolled out, you're going to grab each end, twist it together, and join it on the other side of the loop. Now remember, these are Philly soft pretzels, so what we're going to do is elongate to form this. Repeat this eight times. Once you have all your pretzels rolled out and shaped, once again, cover them with a towel and let them rise for another hour. Which works out really well because I've got about an hour left in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, so I'm going to go finish watching that. I'll be back. Say what you will about the Planet of the Apes sequels, but they always did something very different than the one that came before it. Now personally, after the original, my favorite is Escape from Planet of the Apes, but... Right, Pretzel, sorry. The dough has risen again. And you know how much I love my dramatic reveals. 
Those are looking great. Now they're almost ready to go in the oven. Now preheat your oven to 425 degrees and get some water boiling in a wide saucepan like this. And for this next step, you can join me behind the counter. It's all right, come on. If you don't do it, I'm not paying you. Thanks for joining me behind the counter. Once you get this water boiling, turn the burner off, then get a quarter cup of baking soda and pour it in. Stir it up. Traditionally, pretzels are soaked in water mixed with a chemical called lye. That's L-Y-E and not the things I tell myself every day. But lye is known to cause horrible burns if you mishandle it, and I got burned badly enough back in Thanksgiving 2009, so I stick with baking soda. Then take your pretzels, and what you're going to do is dip it into the water bath. Actually, not dip, more like let it float. And after about a minute, you're going to flip it over. And give it about a minute on each side. You can go back now. Go back. Go. Once the pretzels are done in the jacuzzi, you're going to give them an egg wash. And what an egg wash is, is simply crack an egg in a bowl, give it a splash of water, and then mix it up. Now, most of the time, egg washes involve milk, but I'm not about to open an entire thing of milk just to use a tablespoon, so water works just as well. Then you're going to grab your handy dandy food paintbrush and just brush it over. Just brush them over all quickly, haphazardly, whatever, doesn't matter, it does something, just don't question the recipe. Once they've all been washed, we add the most important ingredient for any soft pretzel, salt. Go crazy. Then throw them in the oven for about 14 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them. Oh, and that sound means we're out of time, but thank you so much for playing. Sorry, wrong show, that's late night gaming. That sound means the pretzels are done. Get your wire rack and get the pretzels out of the oven. Beautiful golden brown. Now, the real challenge is waiting for them to cool before you eat them, otherwise they'll burn your mouth off. And boy, is it tempting. And as tempting as I can be, we will do what we must. Or we will try. <laughs> I can't wait anymore. Oh, this one looks good. dense, it's chewy, it's salty, it's delicious. It is a Philly soft pretzel. I hope you all have a good late night. Mmm. I'm gonna eat seven of these.